Quiero. Uh, hold on, sorry. Can you see my screen here? See the slide? All right. So, Magnetar, microneedle-based remote drug delivery. So what exactly do any of those terms mean? We'll get into those. So problem, background method, brief update. So the problem is that when you use a tranquilizer dart on an animal, if the dart goes too fast, it can injure or kill the animal. Too slow and it doesn't inject. And most conventional tranquilizer darts or biopsy darts are, the, are something like those pictured there. Big nasty metal syringes that are about as that are about as uh, thick as a, as a screwdriver or a, or a railroad spike. Not exactly the most gentle thing to do medicine or or biology with. So a bit of background. The guy here looks a little more a little more uh, super villainy than normal, but this is Colin Murdoch, a New Zealand inventor who invented the tranquilizer gun, the disposable syringe, and the childproof medical container. He essentially codified what a modern tranquilizer gun is, the dart and the projector, essentially using a blank charge, a 22 blank, to launch a, a syringe dart or a biopsy dart towards an animal. Before then, you had to go up and poke it with a spear with a stick on the, with a syringe on the end. So there's an alternative to syringes, thankfully, microneedles. Typically, you 3D print a bunch of small little spikes. You put the drug you want in hydrogel while you're printing it. It keeps it... Uh, Fresh, uh, viable for longer, and when they touch when they touch the skin, the hydrogel kind of breaks off and delivers much less disturbance and pain con compared to a regular syringe. But it's not yet been applied to tranquilizer darts. Now, there are foam dart blasters like a Zuru or Nerf, something that fires a little foam dart like this. The short darts have been very popular in, in the hobbyist community. Some of the hobbyist blasters, like the one there, can reach about 100 meters a second while causing little harm on, onto a target. This one is about 13 millimeters in diameter by about four centimeters long. So we just melt the micro needles on one of these. But the launch platform itself has some improvements that could be made. With a firearm, as I mentioned, it uses a blank charge to drive it, but the energy is entirely dependent on the gunpowder. If the animal gets closer or further away, it can still cause problems. Compressed air and CO2, pressure drops off after a few shots, and temperature can make the gas expand or contract. Crossbows and bows make, have a faster dart drop, so it has a little more limited range, and mechanical launchers like flywheels can have motor noise and, and battery consumption. So are there any s silent velocity adjustable launchers? As it turns out, yes, but they use none of the methods I've described. Functional electromagnetic accelerators, stuff like, like Lawrence accelerators or rail guns, or Gauss accelerators or coil guns, basically linear magnetic motors like this. So there's also electrothermal, which is essentially using a spark plug to generate a plasma shock rate to move something. Very low efficiency, unless we can perfect room temperature superconductors, but very controllable. So the coil gun, like the, this model right here, has the greatest ease of use. Essentially, we have one of these and we attach a laser rangefinder to it. And we use this to determine the correct amount of energy to put into the driver coil so the dart always arrived with the correct velocity. But how do we affect foam? So what we do is we put a steel dowel in the middle, kind of like with this. Then we mount micro needles in front. So the final dart would look something like this. I'm not sure if you can see it, but we put rigid plastic between them. And with the electromagnetic driver system, the dart always arrives with the right amount of kinetic energy, about one joule of kinetic energy, slightly more than a regular nerve dart. So the regular one is the Arc Flash Labs SGP coil gun right here. Uh, the final version's got to be a little different because we have not yet integrated the laser range finder and, and variable control driver in there. So look at the muzzle energy of different things. Uh, in terms of joules, similar, not unlike foot pounds, 22 LR is about 200, crossbow is about 80, paintball marker is about 20, all air pistols are about eight, the SGP is about 1.5, and the Nerf Blaster is about 0.5. 
0.05, just for comparison's sake. It's almost a logarithmic curve there. Now, we have tested this on simulated targets so far. That is a stake with a piece of uh, foam wrapped around it to simulate an animal, sometimes with a coat for fur. But uh, this is the prototype that we're going to be building later on. We've already started 3D printing some of the prototypes. Not sure I have any, any of those around right now. But basically, the frame is going to be like this with the electronics mounted onto it. Max power is going to be equivalent to the uh, coil to the uh, SGP, but it needs to keep a one joule consistent for the projectile at varied range. Now, remote drug delivery is a, is a key part of field biology, veterinary medicine, and agriculture for managing large herds. Like you don't want to get too close to the bull, for instance. New, these new technologies add reliability and safety for the animal. There's other research applications as well, like 3D printing with magnetic materials and solenoid and valve control and automation and control systems. So, any questions? Uh, probably just went a little fast there, but... Before the, the start of the Q&A, you need to stop the recording. All right.